An old water tower in Laferia is being drained so repairs can be made, but now according to some residents, that has created problems they hope will soon be addressed. Our Channel 5 Stacey Martinez is in the Cameron County Newsroom to explain why. Folks living near the water tower tell us the renovation is causing puddles. Now those puddles are attracting all sorts of wildlife, including insects. This over half million dollar water tower project is at a standstill. Contractors discovered the 40 year old tower had more problems than the naked eye could see. Valves inside the tank that shut the water on and off and directed to the right pipes will need to be replaced. The only way that the contractor can get in there and start working is if the tank is drained completely. La Feria City Manager Jaime Sandoval says crews dug out this makeshift channel to get the water from the tower to this drainage ditch. Veronica Martinez Bordel lives near where the water is being drained. There is a lot of ducks, birds, and having fun in the water. And so we noticed that we thought, oh, there's got to be a lot of water out there. Bordel says she doesn't mind the birds. She is concerned about the slow flowing water. We used to be able to sit outside our little porch there and just enjoy in the evenings, but you can't because the mosquitoes are just all over us. And we're, we're afraid. We're afraid of the mosquitoes, you know, especially with this Zika virus thing that's going on. Martinez Bordel is not happy with the city's work. She says they could have chosen a more direct path to the ditch instead of draining the water behind her neighborhood. There's a lot of elderly people that live in this park and that are sick, and we don't want to get sick because of it. Sandoval tells us since state funds are being used to renovate this water tower, fixing the valves that control water flow has to be approved by the state before the project moves forward. Uh, we've already submitted the paperwork. Uh, hopefully the, the, the valve work will start within the next 30 to 45 days. That time frame is simply too long for Martinez Bordel. She says the heat is on and the mosquito issues are bound to get worse. Oh no, I mean, they've got to do something before that. I would, I would think that the city care, would care more about the citizens of La Feria to do something better than this. This is not, it's, it's not going to do. Sandoval says shutting off the water to eliminate the water flow is not an option because it would leave residents without water. He adds the city crews will be treating the water for mosquitoes possibly breeding in this water. In La Feria, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6. City manager Jaime Sandoval tells us rehabilitating this water tower before was not an option due to the small town's budget. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. In 2016, the Texas Department of Agriculture granted La Feria $240,000 for the renovations. The city matched the grant with $240,000 from the city's budget. Once completed, the water tower will be able to service residents for an additional 20 to 30 years. The project is expected to be completed by year's end.